All right, welcome back, everyone. Hey, Liam. Can you believe we're just around the corner from the Windsor Wraith? <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you, I'm relieved to be finally done with this adventure. Aye, <laughs> me too. Although, I hope the stoats don't cause us more trouble. Well, I'm trying not to think about that. <laughs> when I do, I see that image in my head of that stoat I saw back at Hilltop Camp that one time. You remember? The one with the white fur and red teeth. Ooh. Yes, I remember you were panicked about it for days. I was not. I was uh, simply concerned for the safety of my fellow scouts. <laughs> <laughs> and I was being a right scout in feeling so. You can never be too prepared. <laughs> Aye. Something else on your mind? I've got to say, I'm glad you're here with us, Froby. <laughs> well, of course you are. Nothing could come in the way of Freebie and Liam. Not when we were Dibbons, and not now. Aye, that's right. Oh, do you remember playing rats and mice as Dibbons? I have the fondest memories of it. Who was it all? You, me, Laban, Brunach, and sometimes even Sophia and Foxglove played along too. <laughs> Aye, and let's see. I remember you always made me and Laban play the rats. <laughs> well, because you were the fastest and he was the strongest, yeah? Wouldn't have been fair otherwise. Something else on your mind? Let's keep on moving, huh? We want to reach the Wraith before dark. Oh, she looked worse for wear. Hi, Liam. How are you feeling, Soph? I I'm alright. I just... I hope we can reach the hill soon. Did I tell you I teamed up with the giant owl back in Old Moss Creek? He and I took out a whole camp of rats. Then he tried to eat me. What? Did he hurt you? No, no. He gave me quite the fright he did. But I'm all right. I couldn't have helped Fraby had it not been for Captain Snow. Captain Snow? Uh, I swear I've heard that name before. If I ever see Cheese Thief again, I... I can't believe he had my Sophia locked in a cage like some animal! My... Uh, I'm not used to seeing you so angry, Liam. Usually I'm the one spitting fire. Sorry, it's just... A lot has happened. Cheese Thief was asking you about some sort of key, right? Was it the Tangram he was talking about? I think so. But... Uh, I can't be sure. I... I don't think he knew either. We'll have to be extra careful. Back at Silver Sands, did you by chance hear anything about the rat's plan? Why they're here, so far from the sea? It was hard to listen. What with my... head... But I, I did hear something about supplies, uh, villages, slaves, Red Wall, a, a revolt, Clooney. You heard about Clooney? Yes, but Clooney's just an old bedtime story. <laughs> He's not real. I don't know, Sophia. I thought he was just a myth too, but... I've been hearing his name an awful lot since we started this quest. Oh, come now, Liam. I'm certain he's just some figure they believe in to give them confidence or something. But what if Clooney is real? What if he's headed here right now? It would be unwise of us to assume he's simply a story when he might be as alive and breathing as you or I. He could be a real threat! Oh, maybe so. But I don't have the headspace to entertain such ideas right now. Oh, 
I disagree. I think we need to consider all the Liam, possibilities and things that could happen in the path ahead of us. If we don't prepare for the worst, we certainly won't handle it well should it actually happen. Whatever happened to Liam the impulsive? Liam the think on the fly? I suppose these last few days have been quite a wake-up call. Did I talk about this? I think I did. I am rather worried for the refugees. I hope they make it back to Lily Grove safely. They're all very determined to teach those rats a lesson. I think they'll be fine. Yes, you're right. But determination will only go so far against vermin like cheese thief and scum snout. Once they get back to Lily Grove, at least they'll be in the care of the scouts. I have been thinking about them quite a bit, wondering how they're holding up. Liam, you're worrying too much. Uh, Captain Robin is more capable than any of us. We've done all right. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. Forgot about your own part to play in this tale? It's thanks to you that the lighthouse was lit. You're the hero in this story, Liam River Mouse. Okay, let's go. Let's have a chat with this guy and Oh, Lima. Mr. Liam, wouldn't be on your Mr. Mouse's mind. You must miss all your friends during the winter time at Silver Sands. I'd be so lonely all by myself for the whole season. But this guy's oh, alone during the winter? I have some colmos I'd be getting along with in the summer season. But I'm a mostly a solo mole, I be here. Well, I'll bet you have more friends than you realize. I don't think they be betting the same way as you, Mr. Liam. Good thing I be having plenty of plants and rock friends. What's your family like, Limber? Oh, a long story, Mr. Liam. Well, not very long, actually. While my family comes from Castle Flore to the far south, we moved to Lilygrove when I was very young, and have been there since. Uh, I remember my pops mentioning that place, I do believe. I was born in a mole town not far from Camper. I uh, didn't want to go far from home, remember? I'll bet my mum wishes I were home more often. Yours must love seeing you all the time. Her. Ever since Pop's be gone, she be all alone, my mum's her. I don't like to leave her. Since I be her only dibbing her, and she be having the condition, making it hard for her to be walking. But, but town be taking good care of her, though, her, while I be gone. Your mum is ill? May I ask what's the matter? Oh, no! Mr. Liam not be intruding at all, er. Actually, no healer be knowing what be wrong with Mom, sir. But she be very weak. Sometimes her chest be beating real fast and heavy, and she has to be laying down for a long while. My auntie, she be helping her at home. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Perhaps the healer at the Winsome Wraith might know something about it. Do I be supposing? We best be heading on, I think. Yep, alright, let's go. <clears throat> we got that jam last time. Okay, oh, hold on. And now I can't sniff any of this. Can't sniff anything. <clears throat> I hate this. Might have to restart the game. Which is gonna be really annoying. Let's go. Head up the ladder. I'll follow behind. 
Make sure everyone <laughs> yeah, gets like, up alive. Fuck it, I'm digging down to get up. Oh shit, lost. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'll you for this time. <laughs> oh no, not again. Fuck, here we go again. <laughs> Oh, ow! <laughs> How did he get here? Turn. You should be dead, man! Damn, well, I got away. <laughs> Yeah, how the hell does Gumps not get here so fast? Jeez. Unless it's another fucking vermin that is. Snout's threats were empty that day. Still, this guy fucking. <sighs> Shoo! Yeeted one of I'm his own guys. Still alive. Oh, thank Martin, you're alright. Liam, I thought that might have been the end of us. But you're here. Man, look at her eyes. You're here. And just for a moment as she held him, Liam's fears didn't seem so frightening after all. Come on, Surf. Let's get you out of the rain. He still wasn't sure, but facing a giant where it has a way of putting things in perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Liam. What is it? I, um, I think you should have this. It's the Tangram, a key. Robin wanted me to give it to Valo, but, um, I'm thinking maybe you should do it. What? But you're the one who carried it all this way. Why would you give this to me, Freby? Well, uh... Oh... I thought I could do anything, you know, before. But, uh, well, back there, you jumped into action, and I didn't. You put our safety above your own, Liam. You saved us from Scum Snout. I'm not sure I could do that. I didn't do that. Freebie. Oh, I don't mean to be pitying myself. I just mean I admired what you did. I thought you needed my help, but... Oh, I would have still been stuck up in that pine without you, True Fez. You should be the one to deliver this to Valor. Uh, Freebie, please. You're far more experienced than I am, and- I, I am more experienced than you, Liam. That's why I'm giving the Tangram to you. It's strange how such a small, seemingly insignificant object can be so important. You did well, Freby, bringing it this far. And you're a good friend. Don't get mushy on me, Liam. All right, <laughs> just take it. All right, all right. 
front. Well, look at mushing me and he been pushing on him all the time. Who are you and what do you want? Uh, are you Valo? I am. Captain Robin Springhunter sent us. We're scouts. And we need your help. Oh yeah? And just what makes you think that we'd want to help you? And here's sort of where Act 3 begins. At least the demo. So they are always ready and always acted. Alright. Yo ho, yo ho. So yeah, that was good, it's just the uh, damn heart that was annoying, and then of course there was me with time apparently. Yeah. Now there is one thing I know about for ruining the song though, <clears throat> that uh, <laughs> okay, I'm good. Anyway, then catch up with me again. I will take my skirt and put your eye out. Yeah, the heart is more pretty annoying. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> this part is especially because I don't know, didn't know his. Uh, now when I'm thinking about it, I didn't know his. Uh, Okay, so now it's just Act 3 we're waiting on releasing them, so uh, yeah. Don't know when that's gonna be out, but I'm gonna be following it, I think. Boy, just wait one or two.
free. Yes, and I'd be waiting. Act. <laughs> yeah, I probably still said that like three times from now, but Act Three demo got me into this. So I hope you all enjoyed. I most certainly have, and um, until Act Three gets released, I will be looking for something else to, uh, you know, <coughs> become something, you know, I will, will be looking for something else. Or maybe I'll check the library and uh, play some old game from there and, uh, you know, see you around.